Hi everyone. Today we will solve problems under the topic array in code kata using python. In the first question, we are given a circular array elements and our task is to calculate whether the difference between these numbers that is the difference between consecutive array elements if it exceeds the given value k then we have to print 1 else we have to print 0. So to begin with, let's get the input elements. First we obtain the input elements which is given in the first line that is two integer values which are n and k and then we have to declare an array variable a to get the input of the array elements. The important point we have to remember here is that the array which we have obtained now should be treated as a circular array. That is the point note and we will declare another variable array in order to store the elements of the final output like 0 and 1 which is given in the question. And further we declare a for loop in the range of n minus 1 where n is the size of the array which we have obtained. So here we exclude the range of the last array element in order to calculate the difference between the first and last element as it is a circular array while for the rest of the array elements we initialize zeros and ones with the if condition statement which states if the absolute value of the difference between the first element and the next element is greater than k then we would append one in the variable array which we have declared above else we would add zero in the array okay so we have obtained result for adjacent elements present in an array in order to calculate the difference between first and the last element we have to declare a if condition stating the difference between the last and the first array element is greater than the obtained variable k we have to append 1 else we append 0. In order to calculate the difference between the last and the first element we use the variable array 1 which is helpful in the if condition statement to determine the values that should be appended in the array. And finally, we print the array elements separated by space between each other. And thus, we have completed our code. And let's check if this condition yields positive result and passes all the test cases. Yes, and if you are new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you encounter any further problems solving this particular question, please ensure you refer this code which is given in the description below. Thanks, and we will meet soon in another video.